Yo! So what are we doing today? Well, why don't you just show the guys how to do a composite in Photoshop? Well, you guessed it. It's Tuesday. I mean, only one thing. Time for a tutorial. Let's go! Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. And today I want to show you how to create a composite in Photoshop. We're going to take this image and turn it into this. Now the process of a Photoshop composite is basically taking multiple images and blending them together seamlessly as one image. This can range all the way through from fantasy or conceptual composites to your more common commercial or advertising kind of composites in Photoshop. Firstly, what you're going to need obviously is your camera mounted on a tripod. I'm going to take the two images I've shot. One is a panorama of this beautiful view, hills and mountains, and I'm going to merge it into this photograph that I took just now of the fridge here in the kitchen. And the idea behind it is that I open the fridge and I look into this beautiful vista landscape thing. So this is our base layer we're going to be working with today. And on top of that, I've got a little landscape over here. Whoops landscape over here that we need to composite into the fridge over here. The first thing we need to do is create a mask to mask out the contents of this fridge and basically create a window to this landscape that I am currently looking at. Otherwise it just looks like it's the end of the month and I'm looking at food that has probably gone off and is spoiled. So first things first, I'm going to unhide this layer and uh, and just check if it's the right position. Maybe just move it up a little bit more. That looks about right. Bring back the opacity. Now I'm going to hide this layer again. And on my background layer, I'm going to select the pen tool or press P. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to press a point there and I'm just going to basically create lines all along the edge of the fridge. And then here by the hair, I'm just going to create a, kind of a loose mask around it uh, because we'll be, we'll actually be brushing out the little bits of background in between the hair later on. All right, now that we've got our path done, I'm going to control click on the path and it's going to give me the marching ants. And we've now got a selection made. I'm going to head over to my layers palette and hide my background layer. And I'm going to just click on the create mask. And there we go. We've got our mask. It really looks like it's Halfway there, we still have quite a few things to do. First things first, I'm going to just make sure that the hair is nicely masked out. Now for the purposes of this exercise, I'm just going to take the brush tool and I'm just going to mask it out. It's just a bit easier this way. There are better ways to do this. So just using a nice brush here, I'm just going to brush away and I'll speed this video up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now that we've got our mask in place, uh, it's time to blend in everything a bit better. It, it still looks a bit like a cutout, you know, copy and paste job. So first things first, we need to, we need to get rid of this hard edge all along the fridge door. Now by the, the way we do that is we select our mask over there and we go over to filter, blur, and we just add a simple Gaussian blur to it. Just, just a little bit, just to blend it a little bit better. Just one, one pixel is fine. And it already looks much better. I need to basically get rid of this color shift in the highlights here, this orange light from the original fridge light. 
uh, and make it a bit more neutral because the light we're getting in from this landscape is obviously daylight and it's pure white and not a, a yellowish kind of color cast to it. So I'm going to make sure my uh, background is selected and then I'm going to just go into my hue and saturation adjustment mask, adjustment layer, sorry, and um, select my reds channel and just basically, well, didn't mean to do that, sorry, take my saturation down and maybe bring a little bit of lightness up. That looks fine. good all right and then I'm just gonna go control I and invert that layer and then I'm just gonna gently well, gently brush back on yellow bits over there just so it it kind of blends in a little bit better I've gone ahead and made it too much there all right go here on my cheek And on my nose a little bit as well. This all all these small little changes obviously just contribute to more realistic looking composites. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Let's look at the before and after. Before, after. Okay, cool. Oh, I've seen I've missed a little bit of the mask there. Just need to quickly bring that back in. What I want to do next is kind of change the direction and lighting. So it doesn't look like it's coming from above like it is currently, but more directional from inside the fridge, from this landscape. In order to do that, I need to create another curves layer. I'm just going to do this. So it's nice and bright. And then I'm going to go over to my gradient tool and I'm going to make sure that my radial gradient is selected. I need to switch these two colors around. So that needs to be white. And that needs to be black. Press OK. There we go, because we want to lighten, so we don't want to darken it. I'm going to drag that layer down to my foreground and make sure it is clipped onto the foreground so it doesn't affect the background layer. Okay, let's see. Then we need to basically do the inverse for the surrounding areas. I just want the light to kind of hit my face and the surroundings must be dark. I'll create another curves layer, drag that down, make sure it's clipped onto my foreground, bring it all the way down and then I'm going to use a linear gradient. Make sure I've got the right position. All right, yep. And then I'm going to do exactly the same, but for the other side. There we go. I think that looks good. I just want to maybe refine this side a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. So I wanted to kind of highlight the front of my face there. Okay, cool. I think that's good. Next up, I want to kind of create a bit of haze, a bit of more directional light coming from this landscape image onto the foreground. So I'm just going to create a new layer over here and I'm going to keep on my graduation tool. 
I'm just going to make sure everything is sorted. I'm just going to drop the opacity down so it's fine like that. And over here, I want to choose a color kind of just off white. I think that's good. Select OK. And then I'm just going to drag it out. Double click on the layer. Holding Alt, I'm just going to select that little pin over there. Let's bring it down a little bit more. It just helps to blend it in a little bit nicer. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna add a mask here because I don't want this to necessarily also have that same kind of haze over it. So I'm just gonna create a mask there, get my, my uh, brush tool and just brush back. Oops. One of the last things I want to do is add another curves layer. And now we're just going to manipulate the highlights on my face here, just to kind of blend it in a bit better out of my hair. Just so it looks a bit more believable that there is actually a lot of light spilling in from the fridge. I'm just going to add a curves layer, bring up those curves a little bit, a little bit more, invert the layer get my brush tool and uh, I'm just going to actually clip this to the foreground so I don't brush on the background as well and now I'm just going to brush in let's just drop the opacity a bit more there we go just all along here don't worry about the fridge too much we are going to add the same thing to the fridge anyway This will just help, all these small little things will just help to really sell the illusion that um, there is actually a landscape in my fridge. Alright, I mean looking at it now, it's it's getting there, it's, it's already looking pretty good. I want to just do a few minor changes to the, um, to the landscape itself. I'm just going to add a curves layer there as well and make sure it's clipped to my landscape image. Now I just want to do a bit of contrast adjustments there. I'm actually going to bring up the uh, vibrance, also make sure it's clipped to my landscape and just make it a bit more colorful. Alright, I mean we're pretty much done here now. We can now just do a general color grade to the whole image. I'm just going to go selective color and I'm just going to do a basic grade to this image. Yeah, I think that's that's good. I think all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some sharpening and I'm just going to load up the Retouching Academy plugin that I normally use and just add a sharpening layer to everything. Bring down the opacity to 60 and we should be good to go. Yeah, that looks good. Great stuff, so that's it. That's the composite done and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any suggestions for any future tutorials, please drop it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, press that like button. Remember to subscribe, press the little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload a video and I'll see you in the next one.